We are going to be secretly living on a fishing pier for the next 24 hours. The world's longest fishing pier. We're gonna be trying to catch some fish, cook them up, and stealth camp in our truck setup for the first time ever. What could possibly go wrong? Hi, how's it going? Okay. And is this closed at any time? Or is it just like open? It's always open. Okay. Have nice All right, thanks, you too. Welcome to the world's longest fishing pier in our home for the next 24 hours. We just parked. This whole pier used to be a big bridge that cars would go over, but the story goes that some, I guess, sailor or somebody in a boat hit it and it destroyed it and now they turned it into a fishing pier. And as you can see, there's a lot of cars on here. This thing is open 24 hours and there are some big fish that could be roaming down under us. Take a look here. Oh yeah. So this is uh, over there, you can see that's the other bridge that actually is like the actual bridge now. We have access to two areas of this bridge. There's a north and the south, and there's, there's just a lot of cool fishing opportunities here. I'm super excited, and this is going to be our first time ever stealth camping in our new stealth camper setup. So I gotta figure we'll fish a while, Hopefully we'll catch something that we can cook up. Maybe we'll get some dinner tonight, maybe some breakfast tomorrow. Now, uh, if you've been following the channel, basically uh, there's the, this window is not here. So we are camping tonight windowless. That should be interesting. Uh, we're still in the process of getting that fixed. Maybe one or two more weeks, hopefully, till the park comes. I stopped at the bait shop, which is all the way down at the end of this thing, and uh, we got some shrimp. Again, I mean, this is salt water in Florida. Anything is possible. I'm excited, man. So let's stop talking. Let's get some stuff together. Let's get to fishing. All right, GoPro mode engaged here for a second. If you guys are excited for this video, please go down there, hit that thumbs up button. Really would be to lot to and uh, help out the video. So this is kind of what we got going on right now. Y'all will see soon enough. I mean, this is just, remind you, I'll go into detail a little bit later. It's, it's nothing much right now. This is like just the beginning. It's sort of like a video game. It's like the next couple stuff camps you guys are gonna see, we're doing upgrades and cool stuff's gonna come back here. It's a cool place to like look back on probably in the future, you know, our first ever Stealth fish camp catch and cook. As I said, man, we're gonna try to catch stuff to eat. But first of all, we're just, we're just gonna try to catch something. <laughs> we got ourselves a little chair. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, dude, this is so nice. Literally, we're not gonna be on land for the next 24 hours. Like, that would be pretty not good if <laughs> this bridge, like, collapsed or something. And I just looked at what I was going through over here. Look at this. Can you see that? That's the butt. That goes straight down, man. That's where we're not trying to go. All right. Hooking up three rods, almost done here. This is taking a while though. So this is what we're working with right there. We got a lot of shrimp. So, three rods. On the first rod, we have a sabiki rig, which is hopefully gonna catch us some bait. A little bit bigger bait than the shrimp for some bigger fish. Second rod, we have a sliding sinker and then a live bait hook. I'm thinking I could just put a shrimp down there and realistically, in Florida, lots of stuff eat shrimp. And this is a little bit heavier of our setup. So uh, the past couple times I came here, I've been trying to catch a freaking grouper. There are some big old gag groupers under this pier. I don't know if we'll catch a keeper. I, just, I don't even, I just want to catch one. So this is the rig we're using for that. Super heavy leader, decently heavy rod. We have a circle hook, four aught, and uh, a weight to get down to the strike zone. Apparently if the tide's going that way, you don't need a weight, but if it's going this way, you should get it down in the strike. I don't really know too much about, I mean, you, you can probably tell. Right. First things first though, I think we're just gonna grab one of these dudes. You will do. It's hard to go wrong in Florida with a live shrimp. So we're just gonna put that guy straight down. And I mean, as I said, that could catch a lot of different things. I don't know how deep it is here. Probably pretty freaking deep. Let's find out. All right, so something like that. Loosen that on up so we don't lose our rod. If you've never used or seen a sabiki rig before, basically this one has one, two, three, four, five, six hooks on it. And uh, on the end, we just have our little sinker. So this lets it go down. Sinker will be at the bottom and these dudes will be suspended if we keep it a little bit taut. So we have six tiny little pieces of shrimp, right? This hopefully should catch something. Yeah, we don't really care about the size. With the sabiki, we just want to catch some smaller fish to hopefully catch some bigger fish. That is the ultimate goal here. Oh, are you getting bit? I literally just got bit right away. Oh, dude, there's they're, they're down there. The, the, the freaking... Ah, dang it. The bait fish are here, man. 
That is perfect. Come on. You already steal all my shrimp? Sometimes if you bounce it around too. So sabiki is kind of supposed to look like a little bait fish. I just like to tip it with some shrimp. Dude, they just yacked me real quick. We still got a few pieces of shrimp on. Oh my man. What's the first fish going to be out here? There's a bite, there's a bite. Got something. Got something. What is that? Oh, dude, that is that is it. That's the candy right there. So this right here, don't spike me or get my sabiki in my hand. So this is a pinfish and it's called a pinfish. I don't know exactly why, but it's got like a bunch of little pins on it. <laughs> they freaking spiky, dude. Look how pretty though. Such a cool freaking fish right there, man. I don't want him to spine me. What we're gonna do with this guy put them on the big rig and chuck them down. This is supposed to be like candy to a lot of these fish. Oh my gosh. Real quick, just look at the colors, man. Can we just appreciate the Florida beauty? Our first fish is a beauty, man. All right, so I'm literally just gonna hook him right through the back like that. Wow, look at the blues and stuff. Oh, dude, he just pooped some weird stuff. I'm just gonna drop that down right here. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna see what happens, man. It's freaking Florida. Literally anything could take this and... Yeah, we, get, we just gotta be ready. Now, the nice thing about this rod setup too is it has this bait runner mode right there. So basically, if anything takes off with this, my rod shouldn't go in. All I have to do is flip that bait runner mode and uh, go get whatever bit us. This is exciting, dude. All right, we're in the game now for a big one. There's something. Hello. All right, this is good. Pinfish part two. We're just gonna let that guy back. He's a little big. They're stacked down there. All right, we're going under the bridge now. Come on. It'll catch me a big one. It's crazy how many people are here. Cause it's just like a normal weekday and then also how many people are just still coming like this place is pretty freaking popping right now dude it's a crazy feeling too that car just like drove by like you can feel it on this little bridge like it, it's all shaking around and stuff Things have not exactly been crazy as far as fishing goes. I've been having a lot of fun though, and I, I feel like I have been learning a lot. I've been really enjoying myself, taking in the beauty, seeing the wildlife. I mean, look at that. The sun is kind of closest to setting, and I just realized, I mean, I got here probably like uh, around like 12-ish. I am hungry, and I, I, I'm kind of curious about something. All right, this should be fairly quick, I would hope. Drop the sabiki down. Hit bottom. Boom. Boom. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what do we have here? What the heck is that little thing? Wait a second. Have I caught you before? Whoa, 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 whoa. X Games mode. Okay, that it's just a tiny little. I think they're called greenbacks or thread fins or something like that. It's like a baby tarpon. Look how tiny that thing is, dude. Put him back. Uh, that's probably a little small than what we'd like to try to catch. But this is what we're gonna do, man. This is actually good bait size. While I'm doing this, I guess I could throw a bait in too. Ow. Dude, if I can count the number of times I've been poked today, I've been dealing with a lot of these pinfish. I've really been trying to catch a grouper. And that's gonna be, like I'm gonna study up tonight. We're gonna do a bunch of fun stuff in the truck. It sounds probably a little weird. But one thing for sure is that I need to seriously figure out how to catch freaking gooper man i really don't want to leave this place yet again without catching one i feel like i'm doing everything right uh, we switched to a different tactic i'm literally just live lining this thing with no weight if you think about it like when the tide's going and stuff if there's a weight holding the fish then the fish could be like spiraling around and it could croak the fish anyway in theory there's rock piles over here and the grouper are in those rock piles and when this floats on by they will want to demolish it. it has yet to happen i just don't know if i'm at the right spots maybe not 
Maybe these fish aren't hungry. Maybe I just haven't gotten it to the right sweet spot yet. All right, Sabiki going back down. That beautiful sunset though, man. Got all the colors of the rainbow. Boom, boom. Boom, come on, me. Oh, yep. Oh, I lost him. Give me a thick boy. Yeah. Oh, come on. Tiny little bugger. All right, so here are two pinfish we caught. Uh, I'm gonna clean them up super quick. So I was thinking, what's a better way to end the day than a little fish buffet? So uh, we cut up the fish, take a little look. I mean, it's just super, Beautiful colors on these dudes. I think it'd be really cool for our first little truck camp to do our first little catch and cook out of the truck bed. Chef first taste ready to go. And just, just again, look at that. I've seen like, there's a lot of people that way and over there as well. Really, nobody's catching like anything, which could be a good thing. Maybe like the good fishing is yet to come. I think a couple other people are doing what I'm doing, trying to catch grouper and stuff and bigger fish. When mother nature gives you fish, some pinfish, dude, you are not. Excuse me, sir. Get away from my dinner. Sometimes when Mother Nature gives you pinfish, you gotta make it into a five-star chef meal. All right, you know, I was gonna cook it right here. It'd be cool with like sun in the background, and just the truck and everything. This is where I'm parked, by the way. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We got the thing falling down looking super professional back here. <laughs> the wind's like kind of blowing in this way so I don't want all the propane to go in there and get all stanky. So we're gonna put it right here. All right. I mean, we're kind of low-key roughing it in a way. We're just gonna put that dude in real quick. I mean, it is camping, right? not gonna be super gourmet. I'm gonna have to work on my chef skills. I do want to make some really cool stuff in the future, but we're gonna leave that in there like that. I'm not really gonna season it up too much because y'all are gonna see why here in a second, but we're gonna let that heat on up down there and uh, see what she turns into. This is gonna be pretty cool because if you watch the channel, you guys know I want to try to cook as many different species of fish as I can after I catch it. Like catch and cook as many different things as possible. I want to catch and cook them all. Pinfish is not on my list yet. So we're checking that off today. I want to get the whole full flavors of the fish and you, and you never know man. Some of y'all underrate bluegill but bluegill freaking tastes good too. And they, they're just, uh, bluegill are awesome. For this area in particular I feel like this is the bluegill of the Skyway Pier Bridge. You know. They're abundant and they're fun to catch and they've been keeping me busy here today. I just cannot get enough of this freaking view, dude. Look how cool this is. Wow, okay, just wow. I didn't know, so there's a bridge uh, over there. I'll show you guys here in a second. I guess at night, it lights up multicolored. It's like blinking. It looks so freaking cool, dude. But uh, before it gets too dark, let me give you guys a quick tour of our Airbnb out here on the world's largest freaking fishing pier. So this is the truck. Again, uh, busted window. Woo! She looks cozy in there. So I have three of these little light things that should help us film and stuff. By the way, our fish is still cooking over there. Hopefully it doesn't burn and stuff. So we've got duct tape, mainly for this window, but you never know what you'll need duct tape for. Again, here are the lights. We got one, two, one over there illuminating our area. I've got a fan to set up. We can just clip that literally anywhere. Got some water and uh, we've got a few snacks in that bag and in this bag over here we've got a power station. Uh, shout out to this company. They sent it to me a long time ago. Never really gotten around to use it too much but we're in boondocking on the RV or doing this. This will come in handy. Yeah so this is just a little tour of what we got going on here. This is going to be really cool. 
the breeze feels so good so I might even open that a little bit and then this can slide open and uh, we might have like a nice little cross breeze I want to fish through the night but this right here is actually a gym mat um, let me see if I can show you Kelsey put this nice thing around it it's an exercise mat that I got at the store for pretty cheap not the comfiest thing it's no mattress but mattresses Ow. Mattresses are expensive. All right, we're still cooking away. One side's a little burnt, but that's okay. I don't know if those lights go on, so it might get really dark out here. Everybody seems to be leaving besides a couple of people all the way down there. But basically, this tent, uh, I don't know if you can see or not, it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be limo tent. You can see pretty good through it when the lights are on in there. I'm sure when they're off, you can't see through too well. And they forgot to tint that window in the middle. I don't know why. I might have to go with the different, like, are there different kinds of tints? And are some 5% like limo tints darker than other ones? Let me know down in the comments below. I do just want to reiterate again, like, this is the very beginning stages. And we're, we don't even have a freaking window back there. But, oh, the moon is like a croissant. But, uh, yeah, I want to add a lot more and do a lot of cool stuff with this thing. So, it actually is, like, pretty freaking hard to see in there with the windows when, when there's no lights on in there. So, that's a little privacy. And we've got all that, dude, there's so much pollen. Oh, you can see pretty good on there. Through that window over there, I think it's letting in all the light. There has been so much pollen. Like, I've just been infested in my nostrils. I'm sure sleeping in the pollen because this window's open probably might mess me up a little bit. We still got the fish cooking, I just checked on it. <gasps> there's a dolphin right there. Oh my God. Dude, he, did you guys even hear that? He was like, Pfft. Come back. You won't. Oh, he's right there, you see it? It's probably kind of hard to see. Dang it, dude. The lights literally just turn on right before I started this clip. All right, so there are lights. That actually makes me feel better. And that'll make night fishing probably more filmable too. So maybe in the nighttime is when the biggins come out. Look at this. Look at this animal planet stuff right here. The pelican. Oh, dude, that is it. I should sell that shot to animal planet right there. Sunset pelican. <sighs> This is nice. Next video we film when we go truck camping, I want to do it here very soon. It's going to be eating only what I catch for 24 hours. This is just eating what I catch, but I could eat some other stuff too. I mean, it's the first time out. I don't, you know. Show you guys, we're probably going to snack a little bit later. Kelsey packed this. So I don't even know what Kelsey packed this. Let's go check on our fish though. But one more. Look at that. Got the moon up there, the sun setting. And we got Rainbow Bridge in the background. Let's go take a peek. I like this too. These aren't like the, you know how some places have like yellow lights? Like nice bright white LED. This is nice. First catch and cook here out on the water. Slightly toasted pinfish. Is that super loud with the bridge behind us? Probably. There she is. We're just gonna take a quick bite real quick. Pinfish. If I had to say what that tastes, hold on, let me it's probably kinda loud that way. I, I my brain keeps going back to saltwater bluegill. I don't know why. The reason we really didn't put too much seasonings or, I mean, really any seasonings on is because first of all, I probably forgot them all. But secondly, I've been putting this stuff on everything and it is freaking fire. This right here, my buddy Jerry put me onto this. This is the green pepper Cholula. I'm probably late to the party. This stuff's really good. It's like jalapeno and poblano pepper. So we're gonna sprinkle some of this on there. All right, now this is gonna be a party. That is uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna eat that. Let me eat the other one that's still in the thing. Before it gets too, too dark, I'm gonna catch some fish real quick. We're trying to catch some freaking fish. Welcome to the night shift. This is really nice because like before all the YouTube stuff, I used to love night fishing. It's not like I don't like it anymore, but because I like do so much filming, like just night does not really show up good, especially on GoPro. So I don't do a lot of night fishing anymore. But this is really cool. I've been out here at sunset a while ago. Caught some more pinfish and I threw them out. And uh, yeah, man, we're just gonna try to learn the area. And as I said, this is my third time really ever fishing here. Just like with any kind of fishing, and especially any kind of new fishing spots, it's gonna take a little bit of time, a little bit more research than apparently what I researched, but we're gonna go do that in the car later. And uh, yeah, man, it's nice out here. It's getting a little bit chilly. Air, air in Florida is kind of like sticky-ish, if that makes any sense. It's like wet air. Right now, it says it is 66. Feels a little bit chillier than that, probably because I'm wearing shorts and 
the shirt. Oh, by the way, too, it, it, hello. It is 8.30, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, we got out here at like noon, so I've been here for a while. Oh, all right, I just climbed in the truck here. I'm just gonna take a second to chill out. This is what we're working with right now. I only got two of the lights on. This is uh, not so bad. It's really cool, because right from here I could see a little rainbow bridge. Airbnb, right next to the fishing spot. It is just a little sketchy when you think about it, that like we're on a bridge and there's like holes in the bridge and this bridge was hit at some point. Like, that'd be bad if it got hit again or something when we're in, I don't freak it out. All right, so peep this, I was just chilling in bed. Shout out to, uh, this is Kelsey's blanket, by the way. But I noticed something and I did some research. Look at this. There's like holes, like pretty decent sized holes in the tailgate. I didn't know this. I don't know if a lot of truck people do, probably. <laughs> There's things called tailgate seals. So it'll seal your tailgate. It's like a kit. Definitely have to do that. Good thing we're not at a place where skiers can come in there. It's like, a, it's like this big, dude. People could probably peek in there too. Update though, I got a sandwich. We got some chips. Shout out Kelsey, man. I just have to take a second though and really thank you guys for all the support. Um, just doing cool stuff like this and you know, actually doing what I love, which is fishing and just getting outdoors and adventuring and stuff. I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support and you know, let me do this kind of stuff, man. If you do enjoy this video again, please make sure to go down there, hit that thumbs up button. It's only gonna get better from here. It's still the trial, but let me tell you, it's freaking fun, dude. I like it. It's a little chilly out here. I'm freaking tired, dude. So there is, uh, yeah, that camper van over there. I think they're staying the night as well. There's some other cars I still see out here. There's a lot of people still driving on the main bridge. So tomorrow, bright and early, we are gonna get up. We are gonna do the dang thing. I wanna catch a freaking grouper, dude. Or just more fish in general. I was wondering if like, you know the red tide that has been really bad the past couple years? I wonder if that's affected the fishing here because I remember I used to catch so many different things. Maybe it was just today though. Maybe it was just a pinfish kind of day. We'll have to see tomorrow. Either way, I'm excited, dude. It's gonna be nice to just get up and be able to fish. So we're gonna get in here. Whew, it's a little bit chilly, man. I got my pajamas from out of the car, too. So it is 6 a.m. Windows are kind of foggy-ish. I... Got woke up by two big trucks that came by. A little stiff. All right. Good morning to you officially. It is, can you see that? 6.29. Whoa. My legs are a little stiff, man. Look at this, this is like the thing about Florida. I don't know if you can tell, this car is just soggy. Soggy, soggy, soggy. Woo! We are out here very, very early. It's so nice, man. Just to be able to wake up and just be right next to your fishing spot. As you guys can see, the sun is rising on the horizon. We're gonna get some rods ready. I think hopefully my shrimp are still good. I had the bubbler running last night. Even if not, that's just to help us hopefully catch bait fish. Key thing fishing this whole pier is to find the rock piles. That is where the grouper and a bunch of other species of fish like to hang out. I believe right over here and right over here are some, I think, I believe, maybe. <laughs> that's some Florida stuff right there. Y'all see that right there? Where the rod's pointing? That? That's a coconut. Just floating. Wow. There we go. What is that, man? It's gotta be something small, right? Oh, 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 oh. Perfecto. So just like yesterday, right? We're gonna start off on this side, actually. Um, that is perfect, though. Let's get the big rod. Sun is rising. We got bait. So just like yesterday, we're gonna live line this guy. No wait. 
and hopefully since the tide's actually ripping pretty good hopefully we're gonna get into something because these fish swim down i'm pretty sure they don't want to be near the surface where the birds and everything's going to get them so he's going to try to take some cover near the rock piles which hopefully are here and hopefully in those rock piles there's a hungry bigger fish i really want to catch a grouper lots of bait around birds diving people are coming to fish it's good around people here already it is currently 7:44. nothing's going on we're just going to switch spots so we're on the other side of... In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the right. Yeah. We're on the other side. Oh, there's some campers here. We're going to try out the other side of the pier, though. I've never been to this side before, so let's see how this is. And the birds aren't even diving. I see dolphins, but... <laughs> yeah, I didn't... I've seen nobody catch anything yet. Yeah. Just, just pinfish. Yeah. Where in Delaware are you from? Ah, uh, Newark. My daughter lives in Milford. Oh, really? Yeah. Small world. It is. It is. <laughs> Don't catch them all. Uh, all right. Have a good one. Shout out carp person. So out of nowhere, it got super freaking windy. Literally nobody around me has caught anything besides this one dude over like a little bit that way. He caught a grouper, it looked like. He was just doing the same thing, live lining it. That's what we've been doing here for the past, I don't know how freaking long. This place right now is absolutely loaded with people. It is 12 o'clock noon now. I'm gonna go try to find another fishing spot around here. Just I just wanna fish. And uh, it's really windy on this bridge right now and nobody's catching like anything. It was a lot easier live line when the wind wasn't blowing against it so hard. That's when the guy caught him, I think. I ate some sun chips this morning and that, that's it so far. Let's keep it rolling. All right, y'all, that is pretty much gonna do it here for this video. Let me know if you guys like the stealth camping stuff. That was a lot of fun, but it's taken me like a whole day to like kind of rejuvenize, is that a word? I definitely didn't get much sleep. It was kind of loud by the whole highway and there was big trucks. And at one point I heard footsteps outside of the truck. That was kind of interesting. I had to do some investigating. On top of that, the mattress that I have, it's not even a mattress. It's not the most comfortable, but it did the job. We might have to upgrade in the future. I don't know yet. Yeah, let me know if you guys enjoy these videos. If you're excited to see more, hit that thumbs up button. If we get 2,000 thumbs up on this video, I'm gonna blast another one out ASAP. Hopefully the fishing is a bit better, but even it, just being out there for the sunset and the sunrise and just fishing, man, is, is fun. I'm finishing up this edit right now. If you guys are not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. More Florida videos about to be pumped out. And I'm, I really like this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. All I gotta say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week. You wanna know this well?